Hey everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I may be doing cooking videos on my channel, I'm not really sure yet, but I that will kind of all correlate with your guys' feedback. So if you like these kind of cooking videos on this channel, then let me know. If you don't, then I will just put them on my vlog channel or not make them at all. But yeah, I just thought that I would do something different and um, I'm just in my PJ, so yeah, nothing fancy, whatnot. So yeah, today I'm going to be attempting to make vegan red velvet cupcakes with you guys, so hopefully that goes well. If you're interested in these cooking videos, let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you like it, and other than that, then if you want to keep uh, know how to make them, then keep on watching. Alright, so the first step is you want to make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we're going to start with like a smaller bowl, and what you're going to add into this is just two cups of soy milk and two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. This one's just like original, there's no flavor to it. You can get ones that have vanilla flavor, chocolate flavor, but this one is just original. So to that you want to add in two teaspoons of your apple cider vinegar. That's good. The reason why you're just doing this is you're kind of uh, making sort of like buttermilk in a way, kind of souring, souring of the milk. And you're just going to let that sit aside while we work on our dry ingredients. This is our flour that we have. And we're going to need two and a half cups. So now that we have our two and a half cups of flour, we're going to add in two cups of sugar. You can add in regular sugar here, but I'm going to be adding a sugar substitute, not Splenda, that has aspartame in it and it's also really not good for your health. So I'm going to be using this um, sugar substitute. I will say what it is down in the description bar because I kind of forgot. And you're going to just need two cups of this. I decided that instead I'm just going to add one cup of that and one cup of regular uh, sugar. After this we're going to add four um, tablespoons of cocoa powder. And big heapings. And then our usual one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. As well you want to add in one teaspoon of salt. So you want to mix that all in. So to the curdled milk now we are going to add two third cups of vegetable oil. You're also going to add in uh, four teaspoons of uh, vanilla. However, I don't have liquid vanilla right now, so the one I'm using is powdered and I added that to my dry ingredients. So you're just going to mix this gently and you're going to pour your liquids into your dry ingredients. The most essential part of this is the red food coloring. You need two ounces, which I believe is a quarter cup of uh, liquid food coloring, but because I have a gel one here, and my hands are getting really gross right now, I'm going to need about, I think, a teaspoon to two teaspoons, depending, because these gels are kind of like concentrated, so you don't need as much when to mix it all together. One important thing with cake, any cake batter is you want to make sure you don't over mix. That sometimes really ruins, um, you know, the texture at the end of the of the actual cake or cupcake or whatever you're making. So um, you want to just mix it until you don't see any more lumps and you don't see any more of the powder, and then you're you should be ready to go. In. Perfect. So now we're ready to get our muffin tins ready. All right. So I've lined two uh, twelve um, place. Um, muffin tin, so I hopefully will make 24. I don't know if it's going to be more or less, but it should make around 24. And yeah, I already have one in the oven, and one I'm going to do now with you guys. So I line them with just regular muffin tin um, papers, and I'm taking a um, ice cream scoop, and I kind of fill it almost to the top, and then place it in. And that kind of just makes it um, a little bit easier, I guess, to place in first of all with. Because I used to, what I used to do was use the whole kind of two spoons and kind of like scoop it in like that. But this makes it a whole lot easier, and also they're a little bit more uniform because you do them all kind of like the same size. It is going to go into the oven as well. Like I said, you wanted to have preheated your oven, look at my hands, to 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and they're going to cook for about 20 or so minutes. So you also want to take a toothpick or a skewer or a knife, anything to kind of poke through it. Um, just to check to see because every oven can depend on you know different temperatures, different um, uh, climate and things like that. So I have a convection oven so it might take a little bit less than 20 minutes so we'll have to see.
This is the final product. I made it in a little heart for you guys. You kind of see that they're not super like red. Kind of more like a dark brown. But yeah, they're still really, really cute looking. So yeah, that's what they look like. And um, my mom and I kind of tried one. They're actually really good. They're really not that sweet, which is really good because the icing I'm going to show you over here is very, very sweet. It's like cream cheese with lots of um, convection. There's sugar and vanilla and a little bit of soy milk. But yeah, I think for my first attempt it wasn't too bad.